Vash Lombardi is back at it again with another film session uh, with some bonus coverage on Dontari Poe. Now that we got the serious film session out of the way, breaking down how he is as a one-tech defensive tackle. Uh, <laughs> how many of y'all was outside when Dontari Poe was playing fullback in the red zone getting touchdowns, boy? Who, who remember? Who, who was outside? Dontari got three unique red zone touchdowns for Kansas City. And hey, you know, Andy Reid, you know, Mike McCarthy, similarities. It could happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But <laughs> let's talk about it, man. Dontari Poe lining up at fullback. I'll take Dontari Poe over damn Jamea Zola Wale getting a run in the red zone anytime anytime but like i said in the last film session like when dontari poe was at the combine when he was coming out of memphis and everybody realized he was a damn project from the weapon x program being 350 pounds being able to run a 48940 it was like hey man let me use some of this athleticism to my advantages because we need as many advantages as we can earth realm needs as many powerful fighters as we can to be saved from shao Kahn. damn it let me just use dontari poe as a fullback to rush <laughs> into the end zone first of all he has speed for that size he's not fast but if somebody's running a 48 at 115 pounds that's nothing but if somebody's running a 48 at 350 pounds that's way faster than you anticipated that big object to be moving let's get into some more shenanigans hey Hey, remember that one time he caught the bubble and ran it in for the touchdown? Y'all wasn't outside? <laughs> Y'all remember that? Yeah. Look look at the route running from Dontari Poe. Look at the route run. Look at look at watch his left foot. His left foot never leaves the ground. Look at this nuanced route running here from Dontari Poe. Look at how this left foot never never gets never leaves the ground. Ah, it stays there. Look at that. Ah, turn. Catch the ball. Get upfield. And look at the power from Dontari Poe. Putting that shoulder down, delivering a blow keeping those feet moving hey i talked about you know because this is draft season for me as well right i was talking about offensive lineman andrew thomas he uh he does this thing called a tactical lean where he just realizes he's heavier than people so he leans on him and he blocks him that way this is what the hell Dontari poe did this is an offensive skill player version of a tactical lean i'm gonna catch the ball and kind of get stopped right here but don't forget i'm 350 pounds so i can still lean forward <laughs> and get an extra few yards on the back end player you not big enough and you know how brilliant this is time out time out this is an offensive lineman a fullback a tight end and 350 pounds as a receiver running a bubble versus a linebacker a corner and like two safeties good luck to you Good luck to you. That's mismatch city player. Y'all ain't want to make this tackle. Y'all didn't want to stop Dontari Poe from getting in the end zone. Y'all didn't want to stop Dontari Poe for, from from being great. <laughs> y'all gonna be on a highlight reel forever because y'all was outweighed by three hundred pounds. Moving on. Hey, hey, look, this is my favorite one of all time. I know a lot of people may not be like college football savvy, but hey, I want you to pause this video, go to go to YouTube and type in Tim Tebow, Florida jump pass right tim tebow was in college and he made the hot pass very very popular right he'll get to the line of scrimmage but he had the big ass pouncy twins in front of him so he'll jump to find his target and release the football oh Dontari poe's a legend <laughs> oh Dontari poe's a legend hey man what's that will smith movie where he like fighting himself but it's a clone it's a younger version of him can we get Dontari poe in that little machine where we can make a clone of Dontari? To make them look to make them a little younger <laughs> so we can get these jump passes these 350 pound jump pass from Dontari Poe again can we get this accurately in the back of the end zone look at that vertical from Dontari Poe look at that vertical <laughs> look at that 12 inch vertical <laughs> uh, listen man we got the we got these serious analysis out of the way man but I wanted to have fun and put this video out because hey man this is a part of uh this is a part of Dontari Poe's life people forget man he's an older gentleman now he's 29 years old but boy when he was spry and 26 <laughs> no 25 or so but he was 25 hitting jump passes and catching bubble screens and so much fun now will Dontari Poe do do any of this for the Dallas Cowboys I don't think so uh I think he's an older gentleman I 
I think his knees hurt nowadays. He just can't be jump passing like that with 350 pounds on his shoulders. But it is a fun notion to remember. Uh, you know, just just some just some background information on one of our guys. So it's a quick film session one to put out, man, just to get to y'all, just some more content for you while y'all quarantine in the house chilling and ain't got nothing else to do. Y'all hold it down for the Doski, Woski, and Peaski, Whiskey, man. Till next time, salute.